All right. So uh, this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 2nd to uh, March 8th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website through which uh, you can purchase uh, such. So moving to the uh, reading itself for you Sagittarius, now the first card that stands as topic and theme of the week itself is going to be the Ten of Wands. Moving next, uh, we do have the energies feeding and supporting the topic here, that is to be the Ace of Cups. Afterward is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome and face, uh, that is a challenge of the Ten of Pentacles. Moving next here, we do have gifts and blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Six of Swords. Uh, next one represents how people see you, what kind of impression you are giving into people around. We do have the Eight of Wands and the last one uh, that uh, stands as the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. We do have the Queen of Cups in that position. Okay, so quite sort of a... Um, how can I say it? Exhilarating what is what we do have. So energy-wise, uh, Ace of Cups. Well, uh, as an energy, this card points that you can expect only good things to happen uh, in, in literal translation. But the Ace of Cups goes even beyond that. It kind of points to that the energies are going to make your um, daily routine, if you will, either into career or either into relationship very pleasant one, i.e. a routine where you can take advantage of uh, the positive aspects really and the positive positions that you're going to settle in throughout this uh, throughout this week to sort um, worries, to sort uh, issues, if you do have any that is, okay? But in general translation of the Ace of Cups, uh, it uh, most likely does refer to a circumstances happening, a circumstances that needs to be nurtured and taken under control. And the testament for that, it is the Ten of Swords here, sitting into the team and the topic, which points that you are going to be very busy. And I mean, a lot of things are going to be moving around and you will have to exert control in every single one of it. Just like you can see here with the uh, buttons, that uh, the person is trying to do so is what to establish control over them because um, every single one of them uh, it's uh, representing a um, a power the, the ones are representative of a power in tarot so <clears throat> what really happens for you sagittarius for throughout the week is that you can expect um exhilarating event to take place provoked by the energies of the situation you know uh, either through the love of your relationship or either through the compassion of your career environment as well or it's just because you have worked for it either way you are going to be the uh, witness of it and as well the solo recipient of this um, exhilarating event because this is exactly what the ace of cups stands for a thing happening that makes your concerns irrelevant they, they just no longer exist for you because you don't have to go back to them however this new but say enterprise it will require also a big devotion and that is why you are going to be very very busy not to mention that the ten of wands at the starting position as well kind of refers that if the opportunity is nurtured and everything that you can do is done to secure it it will turn out to be a quite outstanding and awesome opportunity as well but don't make uh, but make no mistake here with the ten of wands there is a strict rules and regulations how to sustain one's achievement and you should not deviate from them okay so whatever you have negotiated for this is exactly what you need to do and this is exactly what you can expect as well so that card also kind of gives you a reminder here that throughout this week do not give promises that you cannot keep nor believe into promises that are seeming to be fallacies 
Uh, next one here, it is the challenge uh, that uh, you need to overcome throughout the week. And that is uh, 10 of uh, pentacles here stands only for one thing, going out of dependency. So the card itself could speak that you have to sever certain resources, say, or a helping hands that you have relied up until this point. Why? Because you don't need you don't need them anymore. It's with this new event that takes place here with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands as well. Uh, and it will be difficult for you to sever those ties. Probably it is because you have relied on those uh, helping hands for quite a while. And now it's kind of like uh, something is going to trigger like a, a guilty conscience, for example. Um, that's uh, How can you abandon those people since they have been with you for so long time, uh, for such a long time? And that ain't abandoning at all. We are only talking about severing dependency, but you can stay a positive force in their life. They can stay a positive force force in your life as well. Uh, another thing with the Ten of Pentacles, how this card could play out as well, it is uh, by a uh, a person from the past comes around and kind of tries to prove that they have changed. Usually these people, they have betrayed your trust back in the days and now they are trying to mend the situation, to recuperate it, to prove that they have been not wrong, wrongfully accused but they themselves have been wrong back in the days and now they are coming to kind of rectify this um, uh, this situation. Uh, with uh, these energies and that, uh, that card, a Ten of Wands, it's advisable to give them a chance here uh, because, but, but as you give them a chance, you have to kind of lay out all the rules that you do have under which, and, and um, not recommendations, but say uh, criterias under which you are to actually regain that that actually that person is going to regain trust in you once again um, or you are going to regain trust in them once again uh, very possibly that could be an ex okay or very possibly that could be as well a, a previous business partner that realized that they have done not a good thing for themselves by severing the business around and etc etc so yeah it remains to be seen how it's going to how it's going to play out but just so remember and be prepared that someone from your past may reach may try to re-enter your life and the challenge for you is going to be to give them a forgiveness if you can now next one here it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week sagittarius now we do have six of swords and that is an awesome card for you to have uh giving that the next one it is the eight of wands so six of swords here points that there is no risk whatsoever for you to take okay this a certain approach that you may decide to take throughout the week may look risky, but it is just only how it's going to look like. Uh, according to the card, there is no risk involved whatsoever. Not to mention that you are going to be fearless for one or another reason. So if there is a uh, an immense endeavor that you want to take on and you are afraid to taking it on, that is the week where you are doing it or when you are to do it, because this fear is going to be abated significantly. And you, I don't think that you're going to have a second guess because with uh, the Six of uh, Swords, the, the card kind of preaches that any action is better than no action whatsoever because any action is going to improve one's circumstances. So if you are active, if you can't, uh, you, if you can utilize the energies of the um, Ace of Wands, which are to bring you a quite exhilarating, quite of an exhilarating event, and you can keep into the framework of that event as the Ten of Wands here suggests or kind of demands from you, then you are definitely going to improve your personal circumstances. If you do nothing, nothing is going to happen. Uh, next one, it is how people are going to take on you, how people are going to look at you. Now, we do have the little brother of uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So, Eight of Wands, uh, people are going to, however, think that you are living on the edge or you are walking on the edge here. Now, while the gifts and the blessings deprives your environment of risks taken, okay, people are not going to be so sure about that and kind of like they will 
see he was someone who is playing with fire and um, people that are playing with fire they got burned so you can expect throughout the week Sagittarius people that are um, quite protective of you say your parents you know say your um, a wife or a husband say your partner in relationship they may kind of start uh, advising you against this uh, this event against uh, you know that uh, these exhilarating circumstances and they are not to be blamed for it because they, they can't see the the, the true vision of uh, of the situation itself but that also does not give you the right to be rude with them all, uh, as well so uh, if you face that particular situation uh, it's, uh, you have been advised by a beloved one to do against what you want it will be best if you try to explain yourself better because the eight of wands it is also about the mental straightness into one's mind and under its uh, its influence a lot of disagreements can be resolved and the last one here it is the guidance that Taro is offering we do have the queen of cups so a couple of things with the queen of cups first of all the card may suggest that you do have a person around you that is to support you through literally everything there is nothing you can do to repose that person away not to mention that this person as well knows you very well they knows what you are going through they knows what you want and they are always willing to give you a, a shoulder for you to cry on people of extreme discreetity what i mean it is that they're going to be discreet and you can literally share everything with them another thing about the queen of cups here uh, on a more personal level as a, a guidance it is that uh, this week it is the week where you simultaneously take on this uh, new circumstances utilize them and also sit on them as well and develop them as much as you can until perfection because they are to give you the foundation for a future jumps which you have to start planning in this very week march 2nd to march 8 2020 so hopefully uh, you enjoyed and liked the reading guys um, if you are interested in a personal one uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to see a, a link to my website from which you can purchase uh, such uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then bye